In this video, you will see problems, related to pH, and pOH, of acidic and basic solutions. I use strong acids like nitric acid and hydrochloric acid, a weak acid like acetic acid and a dihydroxy base like barium hydroxide to determine the pH and pOH. The solutions to these problems are explained. Question 1. This is a basic problem on pH. What is the pH of a 0.001 molar solution, of hydrochloric acid? Pause the video, solve the problem, and pick the best answer, from the choices given. Determine the pH, using the equation, pH is equal to, negative logarithm of H positive ions. Replace the value of H positive in the above equation with, 0.001, or, 10 to the power of negative 3. Use your calculator to solve the problem. This will give you a value of 3. Therefore the correct answer is D. Question 2. For an acid, what is the molar hydrogen ion concentration, in a solution of pH, 5.50? Pause the video, now, solve the problem, and pick the best answer, from the 5 choices provided. Solution. The equation, to determine the hydrogen ion concentration, from the pH value provided, is. H positive is equal to, 10 to the power of negative pH. Or, substituting the values in the equation, hydrogen ion concentration, is equal to, 10 to the power of negative 5.50. Which gives you an answer of, 3.2, into 10 to the power of negative 6. Which means, your correct answer, is choice D. Question 3. What is the hydrogen ion concentration, in a 0.15 molar solution, of acetic acid in water, at 25 degrees Celsius? Acetic acid is 1.3% dissociated. Pause the video, solve the problem, pick your correct choice from the list, and then compare your solution, with the one provided. Acetic acid is a weak acid. It is only 1.3% dissociated. So, if you take, a 1 molar solution, of acetic acid. The actual concentration, of the hydrogen ions, is 1 times 1.3 divided by 100, because it is 1.3% dissociated, or it will produce 0.013 moles of hydrogen ions, in 1 liter. In this problem, we have a 0.15 molar solution of acetic acid. So, the actual hydrogen ions present in solution is, 0.15 times 1.3 divided by 100. This is equal to 0.00195 moles per liter of hydrogen ions. Or 1.95 into 10 to the power of negative 3, moles per liter of hydrogen ions. So your final correct answer is B. Question 4. A solution was made by dissolving 0.837 grams of barium hydroxide, in 100 milliliters of water. If barium hydroxide is fully dissociated into ions, what is the pOH and pH of the resulting solution? Solution. The problem states that, barium hydroxide is fully dissociated, so we will proceed with the assumption, that barium hydroxide is a strong electrolyte. This means, that if you know the molarity of barium hydroxide, you know the molarity of the hydroxide ions. So the first step would be to determine the molarity of barium hydroxide. As you are provided with mass of barium hydroxide, you can determine the moles. Then we can calculate, the molarity using the moles, and the volume of the solution. Concentration or molarity, is equal to moles, divided by volume in liters. Moles, is equal to mass of barium hydroxide, divided by molar mass of barium hydroxide, which is 0.837 grams divided by 171.34 grams per mole of barium hydroxide, which is equal to 4.88 into 10 to the power of negative 3 moles. The molarity of barium hydroxide, can be calculated by dividing moles of barium hydroxide, which is 4.88 into 10 to the power of negative 3 moles by 0.1 liters, 
this is equal to 4.88 into 10 to the power of negative 2 moles. The concentration of hydroxide ions, is twice the concentration of, barium hydroxide. This is equal to 9.77 into 10 to the power of negative 2. Now, if you substitute this number, in the equation, pOH is equal to, negative log hydroxide ions, this becomes, pOH is equal to, negative log 9.77, into 10 to the power of negative 2. Or, the value of pOH, is equal to 1.02. And the pH would be, 14 minus pOH, or 14 minus 1.02, which is equal to 12.98. So the final answer is pH is equal to 1.02, and pOH is equal to 12.98. Question 5. What is the pH, and pOH of a solution, made by adding 400 milliliter of distilled water, to 10 milliliter of 0.010 molar HNO3? You may assume that volumes are additive. Solution. In this problem, you are determining the pH and pOH, of a diluted nitric acid solution, which is a strong acid. First we will dilute the acid, using the following equation. CIVI equals CFVF, where CI represents initial concentration, and CF represents the final concentration of the diluted acid. The initial concentration, of the nitric acid is 0.010 molar nitric acid, times, the volume of nitric acid taken, which is 10 milliliter. This is equal to the final concentration, times the final volume, which is 400 plus 10 which is equal to, 410 milliliter. Or, final concentration is equal to, 2.44 into 10 to the power of negative 4, moles per liter. Since HNO3 is a strong acid, it is completely dissociated. Which means, the concentration of H plus ions, is the same as that of the acid, which is equal to 2.44 into 10 to the power of negative 4. The next step involves, determining of pH using the equation. pH is equal to, negative logarithm of, hydrogen ion concentration. Substituting appropriate values, the equation would look like this. pH is equal to, negative log, 2.44 into, 10 to the power of negative 4. Use your calculator and solve the problem. This gives you the pH of the solution which is equal to 3.6. Nitric acid being an acid, and the value of pH being less than 7, is a valid answer. If the pH is known, pOH can be determined using the relationship. pOH is equal to 14 minus pH. In this case pOH is equal to 14 minus 3.6, which is equal to 10.4. So the final statement is. The pH of the solution is 3.6, and pOH is equal to 10.4. That's it for now. If you like the video, please don't forget, to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you, and have a great day.